I'm here at the beautiful Port Ventura world in Spain, hanging out by Shambhala. But is it possible that two days here at two parks has cost me less than being at Alton Towers? Including flights, accommodation, airport parking, airport transfers, and two day entry to both parks here at Port Ventura world. Let's find out. So I've just booked my trip to Port Ventura World. I'll be traveling out on the 17th of April and returning on the 19th. I've also just checked to see what the prices are like for Alton Towers on the same dates as well, but we'll come back to that shortly. I'll see you at the airport. So I've parked here in the green car park here at Stansted Airport. It's the undercover one. It's right near the terminal, which is really handy. This has cost me £61.59. Always a bit of a bugbear getting stung for airport parking, isn't it? Isn't it? Anyway, it's chilly, I'm gonna get inside. I'm here at Stansted Airport, getting ready to board my 8.50 flight this morning to Barcelona Roos Airport. Should take around two hours, 15 minutes to get there, and the flight this morning has cost a very reasonable 40 pounds and 97 pence. So we've arrived here at Roos now, that's a very uneventful flight, always a bonus to get an emptier flight and get a row of seats to yourself. Uh, so I managed to get a nice hour of sleep there and we landed slightly ahead of schedule, so all good. All that remains now is to get a taxi to Porto Ventura, which should take me around 15 minutes. So I've arrived here at Porto Ventura World. The short taxi drive from the airport took around 15 minutes and cost 33 euros. Uh, all in all, to get from the tarmac at Stansted here to Porto Ventura, it's taken around two and a half hours in total. So that's not too bad at all. Let's head into the park and I'll tell you how much I paid for two days at both of these wonderful theme parks. Porto Ventura World is the third largest theme park resort in Europe, spanning 296 acres. On site, you'll find 53 attractions across the two theme parks, Porto Ventura and Ferrari Land. These include huge roller coasters like Red Force, Shambhala and Furious Baco, along with family-friendly attractions such as the wonderful Sesame Street Street Mission and the new Uncharted Indoor Roller Coaster, as well as various shows and street performances, all located in idyllic surroundings. So I'm now here inside the beautiful Port Ventura Park and a two day ticket here to Port Ventura, which includes entrance to two days here at this park, uh, at this evening at Ferrari Land as well. That came to 70 euros or 60 pounds. It's not too bad. If you find these budget travel guides useful, then hitting the like button is the best way to show me that I should make some more of them. And feel free to subscribe if you'd like to join me for loads more theme park adventures. So I've just finished my two days here at Port Ventura World. Well, I've ridden huge roller coasters like Shambhala, Red Force, as well as the brand new indoor roller coaster, Uncharted. So I'm gonna head back to the hotel now and give you a bit of a tour of my digs. Interestingly here, they don't give you a room key you get a little bracelet thing which unlocks the door, although it has been a little temperamental. So let's see if it works tonight. Hey. So I've just checked into my hotel here in Salou, which is H10 Solaris Palace. It's literally a seven minute walk down the same road as Port Ventura. You just turn left out of the resort and just follow that road down. Really simple to get to. That's the main pool. They also have a jacuzzi on the roof and an indoor pool as well. And this is the room, a decent sized room, a nice double bed, got a chair as well, uh, proper large mirrored wardrobes, hi. Um, yeah, it's decent. I've stayed here once before actually, it was roughly, I think 10 or 11 years ago. Let's check out the bathroom, see what sort of condition this is in. Again, really nice, spacious bathroom, very echoey. Uh, it's always nice to have a bath, but for a shower that size, I will certainly settle with. And this is the rooftop terrace here at H10 Solaris Palace as well. As you can see behind me, you get some fantastic views of Porto Ventura, which is just up the road, as well as quite a nice decking area here. We've got a jacuzzi as well. So yeah, really nice terrace when it's nice and warm. I've got to say, the evening chill is starting to bite now and it's getting quite windy. So I'm gonna dive back downstairs to the basement 
where there's even more stuff to check out. So down here in the basement, they do have a beauty center, which has a jacuzzi and a sauna and a gym in there. So this is their gym in here, complimentary towels provided and a reasonable array of gym equipment. It's not the biggest, but, uh, and then just through here, you have their indoor pool as well. I'm not gonna linger on that too much because there are people using it. And then they obviously have some gym lessons and things in here. They have all the boards, the mirrors, etc. If you go along the hallway here, you've got the uh, sauna just on your right hand side here as well. So just inside here, you have a variety of sort of boutiques and shops. Uh, I wish I'd known this earlier because I would have got myself some sun cream, which I'm gonna do anyway. And then you have one of the restaurants through here and a lounge area. Also a games room in there. So quite a lot to do here. And then out here, we have the main pool. So that's the hotel tour here at H10 Solaris Paris. So two nights here has cost me £117. That does include breakfast. That was booked on booking.com. However, through my bank, I do get another 4% cash back as well. So that knocks another fiver off. So ultimately it's come to £112 just for the hotel, which I don't think is too bad. The cost of hotels does seem to have risen quite a lot recently. I think looking at general prices in the area, this seems to be pretty good value. So yeah, definitely recommend this place. I think for the money, you've got everything you need, plus a bit extra as well. And of course, while in Salou, it would be rude not to pop down to the beach, wouldn't it? So this is around a 10 to 15 minute walk from the hotel. You can access the beach over there much quicker, but I've walked around to the point here because it is such a lovely area. And like many seaside resorts, you're not gonna struggle to find places to eat. And just like that, I'm back at Rayo's airport. The return taxi was 31.93, so a euro or so cheaper than the uh, trip to the hotel in the first place. So now it's time to fly home. So I'm now back home from sunny Salou and my excursion to Port Aventura World. And if you've been adding up as we go along, then you'll know that the total cost of this trip came to 330 pounds and 30 pence. Now, if I were to book the same dates at Alton Towers Resort, the cheapest price I could get for two nights in their best value hotel, along with tickets for two days at the park was 309 pounds. However, if I were to include travel costs, then that's gonna be closer to around 350 pounds. So which would you choose, Port Aventura World or Alton Towers Resort? If you'd like to learn more about Port Aventura or Ferrari Land then there are vlogs from both parks up on the screen now. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.